Good morning, my YouTube family. I love each and every one of you. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad I'm back. Um, today's verse came to me from Acts 16. Whosoever call upon the Lord shall be saved. We must believe. We must have faith. It's a gift from God, lest no one shall boast. We must walk in, in God's commandments. We must please him. We have a very jealous God and we must please him. Christ comes to us. No man, no man upon this earth would go to Christ because we have self-will. But he comes to us. That's why we are predestined and he has an elect. Um, everything you do right is from God. When we try to do things alone, we fail. So we have to give everything to him. Whatever we're going through, I know it sounds hard. I know it sounds impossible sometimes, but it's the, it's the truth. Whatever we're going through, we have to give it to God, and he has a plan for us. And if he doesn't answer our prayers, that doesn't mean he's not listening. That means that he... Maybe that's not in his will. Maybe what you're praying for and asking for is not in his will. So you have to just have faith and know that he's with you. Sometimes we don't hear from him and we all get concerned, but he's with us. If we give our life to him, he's with us 24-7. And he knows exactly what we need ahead of what the, the time that we need it. He knows everything about us. And um, you just have to give your whole life to him. You have to trust in him. You can't just trust in him when times are good. You have to trust in him when times are bad. And he says his elect will suffer. He says his children will suffer in this world, but behold, he has overcome the world. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to come on and pop on here um, and talk about that and talk about predestination because we are predestined before the womb. Remember, again, we have self-will. No man will come to Christ. Christ comes to the man. And when you call out to him and you ask him to come into your life, that's because he has already touched you in some way or some form. And now it's your church turn to open that door. He's knocking at your heart. Remember that all his commandments are on fleshly tablets on our heart and we must obey. We must walk that narrow path. It's very, very important to walk that narrow path. I know it's hard, but we have to stay out of the world. We live and reside in the world, but we can't focus on the things of the world and just be in love with the world and, and, and be like, um, you know, I, I, I want material things and I want a bigger house and I want to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak, you know, and, and, and the Lord wants us to prosper. He does. We have a very merciful, loving God, but we have to listen to him. We have to wait on him. We must wait on the Lord, must wait on the Lord. It's so important to wait on the Lord and to um, just embrace him and know that he has us and that everything's going to be okay. And even in the darkest hours, his, he's with us. He's holding us. And it's not as bad as, it's never as bad as you think it is. And that's just Satan whispering, his demons whispering in your ear and telling you it's bad. It's bad. You're not going to get out of this. Oh, you're going to lose everything. Oh, what are you going to do? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to hold on. You're going to hold on to Jesus and you're going to plead to him to plead to the father on your behalf. And then you're going to say, but thy will be done, not my will, thy will be done. And you must, must, must just leave it in his hands. You must leave it in his hands. It's so important. I know it's hard. It's easy to say, but it's, 
very important to leave everything in his hands and know that he is God and know that he loves you so much and that everything's going to be okay. But you can't listen to music of the world. You can't, you, he pulled me out of the world. I'm up here on this mountain and I'm living my little life and praise the Lord because I know once I step back into that world, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It's they, the, the world, it's like the Godfather movie, you know, just when you think you're, you're out, they pull you back in. And that's exactly what the world does. That's why you out there have to make a choice for God. And you have to say, I want to walk that narrow path. And I want to listen to all your commandments and obey them. And I want to love you only, Lord, and you will wrap your arms around me and you will comfort me and everything will be okay. But you must not listen to secular music. You must not go to happy hour with your friends, you know, smoke cigarettes, dabble. You think it's okay. It's okay. I could just dabble just a little bit. No, it's not good to do that. That's going back into the world and then they'll pull you back in. You must stay grounded in Christ. You must stay grounded in Christ. I hope you loved this message. Please hit subscribe. It's somebody somewhere there. Please hit the like button. Don't 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 come over and hit the unlike button. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, my channel's growing. Hallelujah. Amen. And I have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that are coming up. I have some guests that I want on here and I'm really going to get deep into the word and talk about a lot of things about predestination, about the mark of the beast, about a lot of things. So drop it below what you want me to talk about and I'll do it. And even if you don't agree with me, I still love you. And we're brothers and sisters in Christ. Remember that. And we could agree to disagree, but show love because love does conquer all. I love all of you. God bless you and have a great and prosperous day. Ciao. And God willing, this little Italian girl will be back. Ciao.